Memorial Day is much more than just a three day weekend. It's a time to honor those who gave their lives so we could have our freedom. This morning, a special ceremony was held at the Kent Forest Lawn Cemetery to show honor and respect. As News 13's Anna Hoffman tells us, the annual service makes you proud to be an American. The meaning of Memorial Day starts to feel different when you're surrounded by those men and women that fought for our country. Some made it home while some didn't, but each and every one of them played a role in making America the land of the free. And I started to think of the little girl at home and she said, Mom, when is Daddy coming home? Well, you see, Daddy wasn't coming home because Daddy was killed in Vietnam. And the wife that, that sits at home all alone, she had a great husband, you see, but he's gone. And I started to understand a little bit about Memorial Day. Veterans like Daryl Hertz and community members filled Kent Forest Lawn Cemetery to reflect, remember, and say thank you the best way they know how. The time to say, you can't hardly do it, but the time to say thank you. We somehow we we want to honor you. Hertz was drafted into the army in 1966. He was 26 years old. He left his wife, his business, and his childhood. But he says he doesn't regret it at all. Something touched my heart after those 30 years of doing nothing. And uh, I'm not going to let it get away. American pride was beaming from the eyes of all who attended. And strength was radiating from those who served. This is just honoring those who have gone before. I've, I've lost friends. I've lost comrades in, in uh, those two conflicts I talked about. And it means a lot to me just to remember them and their services. Commander Keith Foster fought in operations like Desert Storm and Rocky Freedom. He says it wasn't until serving his country that he really learned what it means to wear red, white, and blue. Put my life on the line for this country. When I hear the Pledge of Allegiance, when I say the Pledge of Allegiance, it has that meaning now that I understand how important this country is for the freedom of the world. The service was about honor and showing we care. And in the best way, we could thank the fallen soldiers for the land of the free fought for by the brave. In Panama City, Anna Hoffman, News 13, Panhandle Strong.